Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Arco Linux D. I'm going to install OpenBox for a question about variety. So why not record all the steps you have to take to install any of these uh, possible desktop environments, XFC, OpenBox, i3, also Budgie, Cinnamon, Gnome, Mate, and more to come in the future. So what you do, you go to download, you go to SourceForge, we are talking about Arco Linux D, and you in, uh, you in, uh, in, blah, you download this one, okay? When that's downloaded, you go to well, in my case, Super F7, and you go to um, well, make and install Arco Linux D in VMware or in VirtualBox or in Boxes or any other tool. So you choose your disk image, it's in the download, I guess, still. Arca Linux D, version 6.6.1. And then you start installing Arca Linux D. So this is the one gigabyte version, the ISO, straight from SourceForge. We did not build your own ISO, that's another um, project we do. So you can select the elements you want to install. We have Belgian next race disk next, and we start installing Arco Linux as usual, like so. And then we put the video on pause. So Arco Linux D provides all the information necessary for you to install any of those uh, desktops. So XFCE, OpenBox on i3, these three are merged together in Arco Linux, the big one, 2 gigabytes. But you can start with a small version of Arco Linux, a minimal version, and then install one of all these desktops and we'll have more. What's in the pipeline? BSP, WM, I've seen Xmonad, Xnomad, I think it's called, always tend to forget. There it is, Xnomad. So we'll make um, more and more desktop environments available on Arco Linux. Now it is done. So I'm going to reboot. So it is videos there to show you how to install OpenBox. And first thing we do first is a mirror. So the ISO does not know where you live, so with Mirror you are going to get the fastest servers in your neighborhood. If you live in Mexico, in Japan, in Taiwan, in Australia, it's going to be always different. And now you can add, you can do an update, so this is our little um, alias as it's called, which says get me everything from everywhere and update this thing. So including the AUR, and actually it's just a yaourt um, command, but it's that long that, uh, that it's difficult to remember. So we're talking about the one PKSYUA, that one yaourt dash SYUA, AUR, no confirm, that's the one we're running now on TTY1. And let's pause the video to spare us some time and we can continue. So if we do it once again, everything is up to date. Then we decide what desktop environment we definitely want to install on this system. So github.com, we are Arca Linux, but we are D, we are small, small ISO, and we get our script from Arco and then something. Box, GNOME, XFC, i3, awesome. In this case, we decided to go for Arco Open Box. And then we say, first off, run number 00. We have four cores on our virtual box. They will be used now, which will improve our installation time. And we'll install, install Open Box right now. So that's done already. 
and then we keep on installing the things we want if you want, don't want sound then don't install it Hundred twenty is the next one. Bluetooth, no need for Bluetooth. Don't install it. We're in virtual box, so it's a bit strange. But anyway, we install the printers. If you don't need any printers. There is HP lip in there. If you don't have an HP, get rid of that line. Samba, if you don't care about Samba, no need to install it. And last but not least, take a look around. In your network at home is 150. That's it. And then the software continues. We need software from Arch, Inkscape, GIMP, stuff like that. We see them pass by, Variety is installed now. Mm. Snappy, Atom, Electron. So all the information coming from the Arch repos, that's this script. In the meantime, I suppose you know that Arco Linux is built out of three elements. Arch Linux stuff, the AUR elements, Debian, RPM, GitHubs, Zips, anything really, and Arco Linux elements. Together they make Arco Linux. Chromium is being installed. It's not the same as Google Chrome. Firefox. Let's pause the video here a little bit. We have here an uh, issue with Inksy. Everything stops because of the target not found, Inksy. I thought I had fixed this, but uh, let's include this in the video. So I'm gonna go to over to another computer, change it, put it on GitHub, and Git pull it from here. So, I went to the other computer, made my fix, pushed it up to the GitHub, and you can always check what changes. If you're really into open box, then you keep track of what I'm changing here. So 29 commits, Inksy out of 200. That's what I've done. What did I do? I deleted this line. In the scripts, 200 software Arch Linux repo version two, I deleted a line. So no more Inksy in there. So you can always follow what we change on the GitHubs. Now to be able to work on, I do git pull and what's going to happen is going to get number 200 that's changed. And now I'm going to run 200 again and it will not stop because Inksy is out of there. So that was just a thing that happened over uh, no, a week or two or so maybe. Um, Inksy used to be in the general Arch repositories and has now moved to the AUR. So we have to follow this the same movement. We can't do sudo pacman minus s, which is standard arch repos. We need to do now packer or trizen or yaourt because we, it's in the AUR. Okay, so we follow along what people from arch change. We're running 300 and in 300 is, for example, Inksy because 300 is pointing to the AUR elements from Arch user repository. Let's pause the video here also. Okay, number 300 ran and did his job. <coughs> so we go to 400 and pause again. Okay, 400 did his job. We go to 500, which is the AUR repository, things that are necessary is necessary for this distro but are coming from AUR like OB menu 3 for example that's running now and we're gonna pause again okay 500 did this job ls 
we go to 600. So these are the Arco Linux packages and we've selected the things that we are going to need and all the rest that we are using for i3 for instance we will not install and only do those that are needed for Openbox or Thunar because we need the file manager as well. If by any chance there are difficulties in the download because of uh, well, a slow download or anything like that or a bad connection or anything, something similar, you just control C everything and then run it again. That's that. So we are going to install some more fonts. Fonts is what make our desktop environment beautiful. But there are also fonts for the conkeys, and those are now installed. We want to auto login since we're very safe here at home, and we say, What's your login? That's done. Some of us need to run the 900 version, microcode error, depending if you have this hardware issue, you run it, otherwise, you don't need to. A virtual box it does not uh, matter but I ran it anyway just to show you and now we have uh, breeze snow all over everywhere we have the breeze snow cursor and that's one I ran already so 920 is the one I wanted let's change the OB logout icons so we have the normal OB logout icons that we are accustomed to in Arco Linux and then the lock screen we like and that's it finally we can reboot and we have Openbox there we go so starting off with Arco Linux D so on the minimal ISO we have here uh, now uh, Variety is available, the master here is available, the Spamac icon and our, uh, what's the name again, thinking about the name, nm-applet I think it's called. So anyway, we have some uh, applications that start out of the box, we can go and get more conkeys if we want to, uh, pop, pop. let's take uh, one from the bottom, always stay on the top. Lavender, like so. Okay, so that works. Now, some other things will not work when a virtual box. So the sys temperature says nothing. So you can't just you can't read it. As simple as that. So being on virtual box, some of the elements will not be there. But anyway, you see everything works. So be venue generator. Let's take one with icons. That works as well. It will take some power to generate and generate the pipe menu so if you take a static menu with icons then the response time is faster you see because it's an XML file and this is a generated menu so each time you click it's going to be generated but it's okay in response time a little bit slower personally I just prefer, uh, prefer the pipe menu without icons which is fast enough for me and looks awesome so there you go, we have here um, the possibility also to change, so variety is here, if we want the next one, or this is actually coming from variety, uh, the next one, this is ours, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. We have of course the wallpaper selector, let's see if it has, mm -hmm. it only got this one from desktopper as of now, but you know how variety works, it will get more and more wallpapers this is the one coming from sorry this is the one coming from um, desktopper no okay ah, that's a new one so that's another one coming from desktopper you can go and head and check out what it is and if you have an account you log in and you say I want it on my Dropbox and then it's synced and you have your wallpaper on your system all right, enjoy Arco Linux open box, lots to discover, lots to learn. Everything is on arcolinux.com and arcolinuxd.com. Enjoy.